I'm hosting this hearing to explore how we can address barriers and expand opportunities for employment among people with disabilities. As a labor leader prior to coming to the assembly, I have personally represented and advocated for hundreds of thousands of workers, including many workers with disabilities and workers who experience disability while on the job. While preparing for this hearing, and one of the reasons I wanted to really have this today is um, an article I read that talked about how during the pandemic, for the first time, a lot of folks, a lot of people with disabilities were now feeling included in the workplace. With the ability to work from home, it gave everyone an opportunity to feel part of the workplace and be recognized and seen. Unfortunately, what was also talked about was as more employers are returning um, to the office, many employees in the, that were able to participate are now having to return to the office and therefore taking away a lot of the gains that were made during the pandemic for this workforce. There are staggering rates of unemployment among this population, and that should be concerning to all of us. The unemployment rate among the disabled population in the United States is more than double what it is for workers who do not have report, a reported disability. In the U.S. alone, only 40% of people with disabilities are employed, compared to 78% employment rate among those without disabilities. Among the small number of those with disabilities who are able to find jobs, Many face discrimination or barriers to receiving reasonable accommodations. However, there are many model employers who actively recruit workers with disabilities, provide them with reasonable accommodations, and find that they are valuable and productive members of this workforce. During today's hearing, we will hear from some of these employers who will share their best practices. We will also hear from experts on the topic about broader issues and challenges. And most importantly, we will hear from several individuals with disabilities who will share their expertise and personal experiences. We will discuss the scope of the problem, but most importantly, potential solutions that we can take here in the state of California and other states could look at us as models. While there are several existing state programs designed to connect the disability community, community with meaningful employment, unfortunately, many of those programs are st still not meeting their intended goals. As the fourth largest economy, or the fifth largest, close to about to be the fourth largest economy in the world, there is no reason why California cannot uplift the disability community and provide opportunities of employment or higher education. I have a lot of hopes for today's hearings and a lot of hope for action afterwards. 